Hi everybody, this is Kevin Knebel here today and I'm going to be delivering this brief webinar on behalf of the Schweike Media Business Booster webinar series. And today's 15 minute webinar is on ways to effectively leverage LinkedIn groups. So right now you're looking at my LinkedIn homepage and if you click on this drop down on the top of the page here, we can actually go into the group function of LinkedIn. If I kept it here, we would be pulling on all of LinkedIn, or we can break it down by people, jobs, companies, but we're going to talk about groups. So let's just high level explain why LinkedIn groups are important. Now, I'm a very simple thinker, so my, my simple philosophy is if you're going to go fishing, why not go where the fish are? So knowing that you watching this video are probably in sales or it's lead generation or business development or whatever it is you do, we're all kind of in the sales realm one way or another, whether we realize we are or not, let's think about it in terms of how can we do business with or have business referred to us by people um, leveraging LinkedIn groups. So currently there are over 2 million LinkedIn groups and there's always new ones being started. So for the purposes of today's webinar, let's just pretend that uh, I'm going to say I live, I live about 50 miles south of Denver. So let's say that I'm a business owner in the meet in the general Denver area. Now, you watching this webinar right now understand that I could type anything I want into that search box. I could type Denver, I could type lasagna, I could type lion tamer, whatever I want. LinkedIn is going to search in the group function for whatever word I type in there. So I'm going to type in the word Denver just for the, just for the sake of time. And when I hit search, LinkedIn is going to search all the 2 million plus groups for any Denver related groups. And it pulls up 2,110 groups. That is a lot of groups. And it's going to pull it up with the number of members with the highest number at the top and then it will go down in decreasing order. So let's just click on this group linked to Denver. And we can see there's 32,000 members. Now, think, uh, understand that your networking skills or lack of networking skills offline are going to be reflected online. So one of the things I often tell my audience is, is that social media really isn't about social media. It's about social networking. It's about networking and doing business and referring business back and forth. So people really need to sharpen up their networking skills. So if you were going to join a networking group in your general area, a live in-person networking group, a chamber of commerce, a BNI, whatever, you would probably want to know first, um, is this group a good use of my time? Do, the, do people refer business back and forth? You know, do, do they facilitate business? Are they just a bunch of broke salespeople running around throwing business cards at each other? You would do your homework first to determine whether or not a group was worth your time. Well, you can do the same thing on LinkedIn. So when I go to this page on LinkedIn and I click on this little I, it's going to open up something called group statistics. And in group statistics right here, it's going to show you information which will tell you a lot about the group. So I can see here that there's 32,000 plus members. This is a huge group. I can see here where the people are located. So let's click on demographics. It's going to show me from a seniority level, and this might be important to you if you're looking for prospecting or for networking purposes, what seniority level the people have, what job type function they have, where they're located, Denver, Colorado Springs, Fort Collins, what industries they're in. Hang on a second. There we go. So different industries. It'll also show me, is the group growing or dying? Well, this group is definitely growing. 100 new members last week. This group is cranking. And what's the activity? Discussion threads, jobs being posted, sales being offered, or promotions being offered. And if you're a marketing person, there's crazy analytic data here that will keep you happy for hours. So let's just go into the group. Just like if you were in a live in-person group in a hotel somewhere, you would be a bunch of people having conversations. You would go into the group and get your glass of Merlot or Chardonnay or whatever. You'd walk around and meet some people. Well, LinkedIn does the same thing. So here I can see 
who is posting information in the group in terms of discussion threads. So I can see that David Peters posted something here 18 days ago. He's had 56 people comment on it, seven people like it. And I can see who David Peters is. If I click on here, I can see his LinkedIn profile. But I can follow all the conversation threads. Now understand, this is not like stalking. Okay, so stalking is when you're trying to find out something about somebody that they don't want you to know. Well, this isn't stalking at all. This is taking some time to observe conversation. So don't feel like you're intruding on anybody's privacy here. We're just looking at public conversation threads. So from a networking perspective, we can look at this and say, all right, where are the conversations that I should be engaging in? Where are the people having conversations that I could add value to the conversation? Not so you can go running into the conversation and saying, hey, you know, buy my product, buy my product. Again, this is about your networking skills, not about going in and doing what I call kissing on the first date. You don't want to be running in and trying to sell somebody something at a networking event. That's a real good way to get yourself thrown out of the networking event. So here, be polite and just observe maybe to begin with to see what kind of things are people talking about and where appropriate, join into the conversation and add something that would be of value. Where appropriate, click on somebody's profile and send them an invitation to connect with you if you have a specific reason to do that. So what I'm going to suggest is in the groups that you join, and you can join up to a maximum of 50 groups, that's five zero. I would strongly encourage you to join at least 12 to 15 groups that of the people that you would want to network with or do business with or refer business to or from or your prospects or whatever. Yes, there's nothing wrong with joining some groups of your peers, but I would spend most of my time joining groups where the people are that I would want to do business with, not necessarily my peers. And the groups that you're a member of, I'm going to suggest that about once a week you go into these groups and you post something in terms of a discussion thread. Because what you're doing is you're trying to create a top of mind awareness strategy. You're trying to keep your name in front of these people in a way that's not slick or salesy, but in a way that adds value. And a very simple way to do this would be to set up some Google alerts. So if you ever set up any Google Alerts, and I don't know if you're familiar with that, but if I go to Google right now and I type in Google Alerts, I can actually set up Google Alerts on anything in the world that I want to. And Google will show me in real time, if I wanted to set up a Google Alert on Denver Business, you can see that right now Google is searching the Internet. It just pulled up 10 results. So you can set up as many Google Alerts as you want on any information that you want on Earth. And now you have an unlimited repository of information regarding whatever topic you want to have information on. So if I wanted to find information about Denver Business, I could literally go into here, set up a Google Alert. Once a day, it will email me the most important information. And I could copy and paste that into my LinkedIn group. So if I copied this link and I went back to my LinkedIn group and I just wrote, Here's an interesting article about Denver Business. I'd love to get your thoughts. And I posted the link to it. That could now be a discussion thread. And what I've done now is I've added value to the group. I've posted something that the group members would probably see interesting. And whether or not they like the article or comment on it or anything, at least I've kept my name in front of them in a way that's not self-serving or it's all about me or buy my product, buy my product. It's a way that adds value. I've touched them with something of value. And in my book, The Social Media Sales Revolution, I use a term repeatedly. The term is value generator. In a more and more interconnected, over-caffeinated, hyper-competitive Mach 5 with your receding hairline on fire, crackberry, blackberry world, the, the landscape of the, of the sales world has shifted. It's no longer about pitching product or features and benefits and all this other stuff. It's about how can you add value as a resource and as a thought leader. So I would suggest once a week you post something in the groups of which you're a member and then see if that uh, stimulates some conversation or some dialogue. That's a real simple tip. But let me show you something that's really powerful in a LinkedIn group that you may or may not know. This search button, when I click on search, what this is allowing me to do is pretty mind-boggling. 
anything I type in this box here, if I type the word financial, just for the sake of argument, because I work with a lot of financial advisors, if I type the word financial or college planning or 401k or taxes or retirement planning or wealth management, anything I type in here and I hit this magnifying glass, LinkedIn is going to search all of the discussion threads for any and all uses of that word. So think about what I'm saying here. What I'm saying is if you could go into a LinkedIn group and you could mine through the discussion threads based on keywords related to things that you're good at or that your prospects are talking about or value that you deliver to the marketplace, what you're effectively doing, imagine if you were going to a live in-person networking meeting at a hotel. Imagine if you could sit outside in your car with your eyes closed and you could visualize and see and hear all of the conversations going on inside that hotel in that networking meeting. Well, if you could do that, if you were psychic, what that means is when you did walk into the hotel, you would walk immediately to the relevant conversations of which you could add value to and you could ultimately do business with. Well, that would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? So now, if you can look at the LinkedIn groups and go, well, where are the people talking about the things that would be trigger words or that would be you know, good conversations for me to get engaged in, this feature, this search feature within LinkedIn groups is a gold mine. You are a mosquito in a nudist colony of opportunity. Now, that's a visual. So understand that this search function within the LinkedIn groups could become your best friend to find opportunities to do business and create strategic alliances and client acquisition and that type of thing. So today, this webinar is brief because we don't have a lot of time. We didn't have time to get into all the different functions within a group, but I wanted to at least show you how to Maybe find some groups in your greater geographic area, how to do a little bit of research in the group to determine whether or not the group is a good place for you to network and do business by clicking on the group statistics, how to post some information on a regular basis in the group to stimulate conversations and stimulate interest in you and in what you do, and then also how to use the search function to identify keywords related to conversations or people, which allows you to determine where you should be putting your efforts and spending your time so that you get a good return on your LinkedIn group investment. I hope that's been helpful. I'm going to show you my website. I'm Kevin Knebel. This is me right down here, tall guy receding hairline, big nose, and a face for radio. I speak all over the United States and internationally on a weekly basis on social selling and relationship marketing and how to use tools like LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and other social media platforms for lead generation, client acquisition, referral without ever being perceived as a stalker, spammer, or pest. And if you want to sign up for my free newsletter or connect with me on LinkedIn or Facebook, I guarantee you there's a 24 Seven three sixty five cocktail party going on on my Facebook page. Please feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. I have 27 million connections, and you'd get about 5 or 6 million when you connect with me. Please feel free to follow me, and I'll follow you back on Twitter. And I want to say thank you on behalf of the Schweike Media Business Booster webinar series. If I could ever help you in any way, I'm as close as the phone or email, and I'm happy to help you. And I'll see you on another webinar soon.